Hello, welcome to Reach, a podcast produced by Went Australia that invites people who are actively sharing their faith in Christ to share their own story. Some share their faith within their own culture, in their own home country. Some are living in other countries where they do this across cultures. I'm your host, Richard Jenner, and with me today we have Pastor David Um from Chester Hill, Sydney, Australia. Welcome, David. Uh, thank you. Thank you for having me here. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have wanted you on this podcast. Uh, podcast for a long time yeah yeah i just just uh love what you do here in western sydney i uh, thank you so much and, and it's interesting you know mm-hmm. many people mm-hmm. um may not understand sydney mm-hmm. do you know there's about five more than five million people in oh, sydney oh yes and uh, it's an extremely mm. multicultural mm. uh multicultural city yeah. i've just got some facts and figures yeah, yeah is that okay yeah that's cool yeah that's that, good that, that's okay yeah um i've got here that in in Sydney itself, about forty eight percent of people are born overseas, mm-hmm. and in in Western Sydney, this increases to about fifty four percent of people. Wow, a lot! Have, so have come from somewhere else a- and landed here. So it's an extremely multicultural, wow. uh, many nationalities in, in in Western Sydney. Yeah, that's it's, right. It's uh, in fact maybe one of the most global cities in the world. Oh, that's correct. And I you're here. So. Yeah, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> and you're from Korea? Yeah, as a you know, Korean-born and Australian. <laughs> Korean-born Australian. Uh, but I'll, I'll call you an Aussie. Oh, yeah, that's, yeah. Uh, that's slang cool. for an Australian. Yeah, thank you for calling me. I have got an Aussie heart. <laughs> yeah, you do. You do. So could you tell us uh, how you first came to Australia? Oh, thank you. Um, I was born in rural farming area in South Korea. Uh I lived in a very good country in South Korea. My parents were farmer. They planted a, a lot of vegetables, uh, including Korean watermelon. What is a Korean watermelon? Korean watermelon looks like it's a watermelon, but uh, you know a little bit different. Okay. Um, whenever I had had a birthday party, my dad is gave me Korean watermelon <laughs> as a birthday p- uh, present. Really? <laughs> I remember, yeah, the, uh, you know, there's a beautiful country. I saw the sunsets and rising. I wrote this a poem, and I loved to read as many novel uh, in South Korea. It was great. I had great memory. Um, the reason I came to Australia because um, I uh, plan to go to America. Or studying uh, theology, yes. I uh, have got is a COE permission from uh, one of the theological college in uh, America, but it, uh, I was you know rejected by an immig- immigration oh department. <laughs> 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 I was very sad at the time, but God directed me uh, to come to Australia oh, wow. after that. Okay. And later on, I realized that, ah, oh, this is the right choice. I think it was Perfect the right choice. Perfect plan from God. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad God directed you to, yeah. to Australia. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really, uh, the yep. Americans missed out. Oh, yeah, missed out. They missed out <laughs> big <me>. time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that's really wonderful. Yeah. And um, so, can you tell us how you came to know Jesus? Uh, that's a very good question. Um, as I said, my parents were farmer. We spent a very good time peacefully. One day we saw very big tra- tra- tragedy. Uh, I had two brother. Um, when I was in e- uh, was in year six in primary school, my elder brother died because of bullying at school. Because of bullying. Yeah, bullying wow. at school. And uh, next year, my elder brother died because of motorcycle yeah. accident. So after I lost the two brothers, many family told us that your family was destroyed, it was broken. Mm. At the time, I spent a harder time, but graciously, Christian friend kept asking me, David, would you like to go to the church together? I know your situation. And then he said, I went to church. And then one day, one of the pastor asked me, would you like, would you like to go to youth camp? And then, why not? I wanted to, to hold something mm. because I was uncertain, scared. For the future, uh, when I went to youth camp, there are many youth was there. Wow, they, you know, they dance together, they praise and worship. You know, God. At the time, I felt very um, strangey. I didn't know that it was in the right place for me. But yes. since I praise and worship, at the time, suddenly Holy Spirit touched my heart to open my heart to see who God is. 
When I listen to God's message, John chapter 3, verse 16, whoever believes in Jesus will have eternal life. Yes. That was gospel to me. I can live forever with Jesus. My life was transformed, and I made the decision to give my whole life for Jesus after I repented my sin, even yes. small sin. Like a film, God reminded me how much you know, I've got sin, how much you know, I've got sin, and I was a sinner. I repented my sin for two years. I made the decision to give my whole mm. life to Jesus. Now that's amazing. And I went to <laughs> theological college. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's an amazing story. Yeah, 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 yeah. How, how did your mum and dad feel about all of this? Them, they were very sad. Yeah. They couldn't uh, eat it for six months. Sometimes they just you know, ate yeah. a very small meal. Yeah, they cry out for six months, up to one year, I think, mm. at the time. They, you know, they, their life were hopeless. Yes. They didn't find any hope in any, any other place. Mm -hmm. Very sad at the time. Okay. And, and do they know the Lord now? Or? Now, yeah, amazing. Yeah. yeah, they became a believer now. Every mo morning, my parents from South Korea, they pray for me, pray for our wow. church, pray for Australia. <laughs> <laughs> we pray for Korea too. <laughs> <laughs> yes, thank you. Thank you for praying. <laughs> that, that is, yeah. That is heartwarming, but but a lot of tragedy there. That, yeah, well, that the grace, the grace and love of God Very sad. Has, has ministered into your family mm, that's afterwards. But but mm. um, yeah, thank you. That was very precious. Mm. So you're at Chester Hill now in mm. Western Sydney. Mm. Um, can you tell us a little bit about your church or mm. your ministry here? Oh, thank you. Back in 2019, I start to I started to minister in this church. At the time, there was in a conflict uh, in the church context. So. I was sad. People I came and then there was conflict. So what I did, I asked the Lord, what can I do? Mm. God gave me wisdom to pray with the leaders. So I asked the leader to pray for six months yes. for our church. Yeah. And then God slowly restored our church. Depends on God. Yeah. And then we, we were re restored and then we refocused on ministry. For example, youth ministry, youth youth night on Friday. I started with three youth, but later on twenty, including 20. parents. Yeah, and also I started with you know, I just encourage you know teacher to lead in you know, a Sunday school. We mm. really focus on Sunday school, and then more than ten, and then young people ministry, and God sent the new people. And then every Sunday we clap together, we praise the Lord, we thanks to the Lord because God sent the new people. Yeah. So we, we made 15 different nationality, but as you know, that global pandemic changed a lot. Yeah, yeah. After first, second, third lockdown, 20, about 25 seniors didn't come back. Yes. There were five funeral services mm. led, and we saw many, many uncomfortable things in our church, mm. physically, mentally, emotionally, financially. So... But as I never give up, I trust the Lord. <laughs> I pray to yeah. the Lord. We start this online ministry, uh, online prayer meeting, online disciple making, and online you know, live groups. As much as we we can, we made many online gathering, mm. and also we uh, encourage his family to join um, online gathering. So we we were growing, uh, growing. Growing, growing, and then after finishing our global pandemic and a post global pandemic, we focus on reach out community through bread ministry, coffee and chat on Tuesdays, and I reach out. You know, me and my wife Esther, we reach out. You know, tr you know people around train station. We share brochure and poster. We introduce the where our church is, mm. and many things happen, and then God sent. Many people these days. Many people. And it's a, we saw that 10 Kenyan. 10 Kenyans from, from Africa. Yeah, African. four family from four yeah. different nationality. But still, we, our church is not a big church, but God sent you new people. What other nationalities would be at your church? Our church, you know, many Anglo white. Yeah. And Kenyan and Filipino and what, you know, own families from South Korea, anyway. Yes. A six Asian country. Yes. And then three from Africa, and from some from New Zealand, Europe. So we made 15 yeah. 
different okay. nationality. Oh, that, is, then, yeah. that is amazing. Uh, I've been to your church and I've been to one yeah. of your multicultural yeah, 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 meals. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and uh, I think every month you have one, is that yes, right? Yes, so once a month we have got much good meal, but and, uh, some, some month is every second month uh, we have got much meal. Highly recommended. Yeah, highly recommend. recommended. If you're travelling through Western Abs- Sydney, yeah. it's uh, the place to be. It's yeah. uh, it, it, it is a little bit like heaven. Yeah, like heaven. Uh, yeah, over a, 20 uh, different nationalities. Yeah, a big yeah. room with... Multicultural buffet. With uh, honestly just... Wonderful food, yeah, from so many places. <laughs> I, it you feel very spoiled. Come and join is a yeah. multicultural meal. <laughs> oh, you can see the heavenly meal in <laughs> Chelsea <Jesse> Baptist Church. <laughs> Maybe you could change the name to a heavenly meal. A heavenly meal. <laughs> so many people love this one. Sometimes yeah. the non-believer came and joined multicultural meal. Yes, even as uh, some husband, mm-hmm. we have got maybe three or four husband. They are not believer. Yeah, but they join yeah. multicultural meal. <laughs> Can you tell us a little about your heart for multicultural ah, Sydney? Yeah, that is uh, my heart. Uh, since I arrib- arrived in Australia, I saw many different nationalities in Australia. Uh, I studied in Moline College. Mm-hmm. That's the Baptist College yeah, in Australia, Baptist College. in New South Wales. Yes. When I uh, studied postgraduate level research method, I, I researched about nationality, but there were over 20 different nationalities in Australia. So one day I read the Bible, Matthew chapter 28, verse 90 to 20, go and make disciples of all nations. Mm. I read this passage over and over, you know, more than 100 times. Mm. On that day, God wanted me to stop reading. God reminded me how many different nationalities in Australia so I stopped reading and focused on all nations. Mm. And on that day, I just cry out. Since that time, whenever I read, uh, whenever I saw you know, many multicultural people, I cry out because yes. they really need the changes. Yeah. Many people don't know changes in Australia, over 200 different nationalities. Mm. So God asked me to go and make a disciple, not only one nation, but all nations. All nations. All nations. Mm come to Jesus. Mm. So that, that, that is my heart since that time. I yeah. love multicultural people. It's a wonderful heart. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I reach out is, uh, in the city. I met many people yeah. intentionally, relationally, let yeah. them talk. I found the pe- people of peace who love me, like me, open their heart. Don't, sometimes I share the gospel with them, mm. let them talk, let them talk about religion, uh, spiritual conversation. Yeah, and people are open, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah very yeah, open. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah, so. Yeah. I think they so. Love to talk. Um, just, just leading on from that, mm-hmm. um, you've got a real heart for Sydney. Yeah, that's correct. So could you talk a little bit about your vision for Sydney and yeah. maybe even uh, say what happened just this last weekend? Mm-hmm. And, uh, very encouraging. Oh, thank you. Uh, as you know, that big event happened uh, mm. last week. So Saturday we have got conference mm. for All Nation. And what was the name of the conference? The conference, the Sydney Holy City Movement Conference. Sydney, Sydney Holy City Movement. Movement Conference. Yeah. What Sydney Holy City Movement is, Sydney Holy City Movement is to focus on preaching the gospel to all nations. Yeah. So we reached out all nations for 17 years. Th- this year, it was 18 years. Mm. And it happened first conference for all nations. But I'm talking about the Holy Spirit movement is uh, for 18 years. Yes. But we made the first conference uh, for English-speaking congregation uh, on Saturday, and then there are so many people, over 15 different nationality, many young generation there. Mm. As you know, that Michael Frost, who, who is a Moline College yeah, lecturer, Mike Frost, yeah, yes, missiologist, that came and uh, speak ab- about the mission of God's people. Yeah. God transformed many people on that day. Yeah. I was MC. I led in a, a prayer. When we pray, God pour up the Holy Spirit. God mm. touch many people to see who God is, yeah, the yeah. mission of God, yeah. and they are transformed by God's amazing grace. And the next day, wow, we have much prayer working from Belmont Park to Martin Place. About uh, one thousand, over one thousand people, we march together. And we have combined service at the Martin Place. Yeah, Martin Place uh, is is in the middle of Sydney. In the middle of Sydney. Yeah, it's a right. it's a, yeah. a well known meeting yeah. place for. Yeah. Oh. There is a yeah. dance, yeah. and then there is a ten minute 
uh, preaching and uh, leading prayer, and there are many things happen at the Martin Place. Yeah. Over 15 different nationalities we worship together. It is a hap- image of a heavenly yeah. church. Again, all nations worship together. Yeah. My vision is to go and make a disciple of all nations, also having a worshiping community with all nations. Mm. I saw that on the day. So image of a heavenly church yes. at the Martin Place. It was yeah. amazing. That was my vision. Was that God you know, encouraged many people to yeah. worship together with all nation in Australia. It was beautiful. Yeah. I think one thing Mike actually said, I, I, was, I was actually there. Oh, yeah. Oh, this oh, thing oh. <laughs> was, uh, yeah, the, our main purpose, our main yeah. mission is to become like Christ. Mm-hmm. And as we do that, yeah. we, we proclaim him. Oh, yes. Yeah, you know? Absolutely. And, um, proclaim Jesus. It, it's uh, such a wonderful, simple thought. Yeah, that's correct. That, that, you know, our major purpose, become like him he'll be made known and yeah. and those those thousand people yeah over a thousand people uh, from but someone said it's a two thousand but i uh, guess it's a over a thousand well people. <laughs> it's, it, it's a start and yeah. and those thousand yeah uh, most of them probably w- came from mm. i don't know how many nations would have been represented yeah, it would right. have been 20 30 or so yeah, yeah. yeah. I, we, what, what a picture the 50 over 50 the reason why because yeah. you know from our church, you know, yeah, yeah, five and uh, other churches, so five. Yeah. Is, uh, we, we can measure is uh, over fifty different yeah. nationalities. It's a beautiful, pi- beautiful image. Yeah, very beautiful. Yeah. And then not save the people. Some, you know, uh, suddenly, you know, uh, just stop, you know, <laughs> and also join our worship service, mm. and then they pray together. Yeah, I uh, you know some people <laughs> got back to me, David. I can't live here because it it was first time to experience presence of God. Mm. In their life, yeah, and that they experienced presence of God. They met Jesus there. Mm. It was amazing. <laughs> yeah, I think that leads on to the next question yeah, I have yeah, for yeah, you, David, yeah, 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 yeah. which is, um, what do you think the most important thing is to achieve these hopes and dreams and visions you have for for Sydney? You know, or okay. for your church. Yeah. What's the most important strategy or way forward? That th- Okay, this one. I think so firstly, we need to pray to the Lord because the, it, it depends on God. It's mm. not from us. It depends on God. From God's amazing grace. Mm. We can be saved by amazing grace. That's why we need to pray to the Lord. Dear Lord, please save in Australia. Australia for Jesus. We spent time for 18 years for Australia. Australia for Jesus. Mm. So God works on them. So first, we need to pray to God and sincerely uh, and then secondly, we have to you know, hold the word of you know, promise, a promised word of God. Mm. Because God promised us, mm. if you seek the Lord, you can see the revival, spiritual awakening in Australia. Yeah. So we need to uh, you know, hold the promise, promised word from God. Mm. And God will do it. And then lastly, quickly, um, yeah, we uh, never give up. So many people are struggling with, you know, uh, fi- uh, financially, physically, emotionally yes. these days. But we never give up. Never give up. Never give up. Keep yeah. praying. Keep asking the Lord. Keep reaching out, you know, people who really need Jesus Christ. Mm. Never give up. Mm. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> I like pairing those two words together: prayer and grace, because mm. you, you, we need the God's grace for all yeah. of this. Yes. And if, if if grace is what God does, Amen. Then then. And surely it just makes sense. Prayer. Yeah, that's correct. Because we need God to do it. Absolutely. Otherwise, it's just not going to happen. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah that, that's, that's encouraging. Yeah, let, that let us pray. But, but I think it's more than prayer. Yes. Uh, um, if, if all we did, say you sent out an email and you asked all these thousand people to stay at home and pray. Yeah, but when everyone gets together and, and they share their life together, there's very different people. That's correct. That there's something dynamic. Dynamic, very God, dynamic. I think God really loves that. We learn from each other. Yeah, yeah. And then we we pray. Yeah. Uh, for each other, with yeah. our nation. That is great. Yeah. That's yeah, it great. Is, it's wonderful. Wonderful. So, so a last a last thought, David. Um, people all around the world listening to you. Mm-hmm. You know, Asia, mm-hmm. Africa, mm-hmm. Europe. Mm-hmm. Have you got some advice for them? Oh, thank you. Well, I uh, think I'm asking so Jesus, Jesus is the only, uh, our only hope, Jesus. Yeah. So even though so we can see so many people who are hopeless, 
I really want you to share uh, Jesus as only our only hope yeah. in, um, in our lives. So never give up, keep reaching out people, someone who really need, need Jesus, we can share hope with them. Mm. So we can find hope only in Christ Jesus. Mm. So keep sharing our hope with others. Keep your sharing yeah. at your hope with others. Yes, that's very good advice. <laughs> <laughs> I think I need to to uh, buy you a hoodie. Yeah, with that on it. Ah, uh, yes, yes. Okay, <laughs> it'll be the Chester Hill Baptist Chester Baptist Church. <laughs> Church. Uh, keep sharing your hope in Jesus. Yeah, yeah, in Jesus keep name. keep on doing it and never give up. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, one of we examples someone who uh, hopeless. I spend time with him and then let him talk. And then one day he cry out. He's a non-believer. Yeah. Uh, he is in a millionaire. Mm. He run business and then he has got a lot of pressure, stress, and then let him talk. And I pray for him in the name of Jesus. Mm. He accepts Jesus as mm. savior. He found the hope in Christ Jesus. At the moment, so he just didn't spend a lot of money for <laughs> Jesus. At the moment, <laughs> spent a lot of talent and money for Jesus. Yeah. Because he found the hope in Jesus mm. Christ. Many things happened. Many conversion story. Uh, in a, uh, in Australia, yeah, 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 yeah. And the hope we have in Christ. <laughs> Amen. Thank you, David, for sharing with us today, okay. and My uh, and, a, and a shout out <laughs> if, if you're um, if you're passing through Sydney, yeah, or moving to Western Sydney, yeah, uh, come come to the come to the multicultural dinner at Chester oh, Hill Baptist, please, and, and come to the worship service. You won't. You'll meet so many wonderful people. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, uh, thank you yeah. for having me here. Our church is Australian Baptist Church. There is a multicultural meal. Please come and join multicultural meal. Just here for Jesus, Sydney for Jesus, and Australia for Jesus. Thank Amen. you, Jesus. <laughs> God bless. God bless. Thank you for listening to the Reach Podcast. Don't forget to subscribe and to contact us or to find out more, go to wec.com.au. God bless and goodbye. Şafak vaktiydi Tapınak avlusunda Onu dinlemeye Yahudiler geldi